You gotta pull it, you gotta swoop it, make sure to fold it and tug. It takes careful attention to get your bow tie nice and snug. So styling, unique, and oh so fly. But am I talking about you or am I talking about a bow tie? Cause just like a bow tie, you two are some handiwork. Made for a purpose with all of your quirks So loved and adored in his eyes And we're so glad you're joining us for Timmy Bowties! You are really killing the vibe right now. Your show is about to start. My what? Your show, you know, Timmy Bowties. Is that today? The show can't start yet. I don't even have my bow tie on. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Is someone in need of my assistance? Perhaps? I'll take it from here, Timmy Top Hat. <laughs> so be it. <laughs> what I would do to be able to fit into these bad boys again. So college. Ditch the bow tie, bro beans. It's tank top season. <laughs> Got it under control, Timmy Thunder Thighs. It's Timmy tank top, bro. Okay. That's nice. And. Ow! <laughs> It's more like it. Well, welcome back to Timmy Bowties. I hope you're more ready than I was. But don't let my failure to prepare fool you, because I have certainly missed being with you all. So let's make up for lost time, shall we? This month, we're going to be talking about how words matter. And I'm going to continue to kick my feet up. Because today, the true stars of Timmy Bowties will be running the show. Take it away, kids! We're here with my friend Z. Z, how does it feel to finally be on Timmy Bowties after begging and begging for your big debut? Well, let me think. You were the one begging! That's not how I remember it. But we're gonna move on. Why do you think words matter? Because they can impact a human's life just by one word or sentence. Wow. So what's one word or sentence that has really impacted you? When my mom saw my math test results, she said that she was proud of me and I should keep going with this mathematician mind, and that felt so good <laughs> to me. <laughs> Have you been on a camera before? I mean, my mom takes some very many videos, but <laughs> not to be posted. <laughs> Complete it. silence. And scene. Would you rather have an elephant's nose or a giraffe's neck? I would rather the neck because I would want to see the world from every direction. See the world! Without taking thousands of dollars out of my parents' bank account. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good goal. Your parents will appreciate that. Yes, they would. <laughs> Why don't you look at the camera and we can see how you look as a giraffe. Would you rather have the ability to be invisible or to fly? Fly again so that I would get to travel the world without paying thousands of dollars. I am noticing a theme here. Yes. <laughs> wow. Your parents would be so proud. Well, they are proud because they told you that they are. Yes. And it meant a lot <laughs> because words matter. Say it with me on three. One, Word. two, three. Words, Words matter. matter. <laughs> All right, ladies.
Cheese and Germs, we're here with my friend Levi. <laughs> the man himself. Mm -hmm. Levi, I understand you have a nickname. What should yes, we be calling it's you? It's Levi the Lime. Levi the Lime it is. Mm -hmm. So Levi the Lime, why do words matter to you? Well, because like, so sometimes people, um, there's like, it's like treating others the way you want to be treated because yeah. sometimes words can really hurt that can actually affect them like you're making fun or something like it's just not nice like words they don't like or something like treat yeah. others the way you want to be treated oh it's the golden rule mm -hmm. for yeah, a reason golden rule. yeah man that's what levi the levi lime, the lime always says <laughs> treat others the way you want to be treated that's my golden rule you oh you made it levi the lime copyrighted mm -hmm. that yep. <laughs> you should make a t-shirt Mm -hmm. All right, Levi the Lime. So what is the nicest thing someone's ever said to you? Um, you did a great job on that or like so yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like so encouraging like or something like that. Like you did a great job on that thing or something. Mm. So yeah, like I just like it when people encourage me on yeah. stuff like when I worked really hard on something and they someone comes to me and did a great job one time i was at this go-kart place and um i got second to the last place and the kid that got um first place said i did a really good job oh yeah. that was super kind mm -hmm. yeah man i did not even know him oh yeah. wow something so simple like that can go such a long way and we're all capable of it you know it's just about noticing people and yeah. seeing one another and just exchanging a kind compliment you know mm -hmm. it can be so quick but the impact is felt for a whole lot longer. Mm. Would you rather live with an eyelash in your eye at all times or spinach always in your teeth? Uh, I'd probably do eyelashes. Ooh, I don't like spinach. No. Like, it's so like chewy and like, yeah. ooh, it'd be all around like that, so yeah. So not only do you not want spinach in your teeth, but you just don't want it in your mouth in general. Yeah, is I just that don't right? Want it. Yeah, that's right. But are you eating your greens? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I eat my greens every day. Okay. What's something nice you can say about your mom and dad? Uh, I love you. Yes, that is such a nice thing to say to your mom and dad. And I know they appreciate it. What's something else? Uh, I love you. Yeah, you can never say that enough. <laughs> Audrey, what's your favorite thing about James? He's silly. He's kind. I He's battle. Nice. You battle? Uh huh. And do you let her win? No, I always win. James, what's your favorite thing about your sister? Uh, that she likes horses. <gasps> yeah. That's true. Are you gonna get her a horse? No. 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 Never say no, that means they would always say yes. That's a good point. <laughs> oh, kids truly do say the darndest things. And I'm so impressed by their awareness of how much words matter. And I hope you are too. We're going to continue talking about this theme all month long. But what we'll be doing will remain a mystery. Did I hear something about a mystery? Still don't need you, Timmy Top Hat. <laughs> and based off your detective work in episode three, I'm not so sure we ever will. Suit yourself. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Thought he'd never leave. Well, I can't thank you enough for tuning in to episode 11 of Timmy Bowties. And if you ever want to be featured on the show, feel free to reach out. You can send us an email, timmy at timmybowties.com, or have your parent or caregiver reach out to us on Instagram or Facebook. And in the meantime, I'll look forward to seeing you again next Saturday. Thanks for watching. We're so glad you joined us for Timmy Bowties. Subscribe to Timmy Bowties.